To find the oxidation number here for the chromium in CrOH4 minus, we'll use these rules here. The first thing we notice is we have this negative sign up here. So this is an ion, and all the oxidation numbers here, they're going to equal the charge on that ion. So everything is going to equal a negative 1. For the chromium, we won't see that in our rules. It really depends what it's bonded to as to what its oxidation state is. Let's just call it X. Oxygen, that's going to be a minus 2. Hydrogen, it's bonded to the oxygen, which is a nonmetal. So hydrogen bonded to nonmetals, a plus 1. So we have all these numbers. We can just set an equation up. We could say X, that's the chromium, plus, let's just do it like this. Minus 2 and plus 1 is minus 1 times the 4. That'll equal the 1 over here. Solving for X, we have X minus 4 equals a minus 1. We could add a positive 4 to each side. X will equal a positive 3. So for our chromium here, the oxidation state is going to be a positive 3. Three. And if you add up all of the oxidation numbers here, it's going to equal that negative 1. So those are the oxidation numbers for CrOH4 minus. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.